folks, Dr. Maggio here. I want to go over a standard adjustment and analysis with one of our patients, Amber, right now. So, I'm going to pick up our Pulsar instrument. We can do pre-palpation with the patient to identify landmarks on where we're going to palpate from. So you want to feel for your C1 vertebrae, palpate all the way down to where the C7 is. That way you have your cervical landmarks identified. You can do the same thing with the thoracics. Come palpate all the way down to T6. Feel all the way through down to T12. That way you know where you get to start and stop. You can also pick the T6 as well so you have a good idea. Same thing with your lumbar vertebrae. Come all the way down, palpate it, and then palpate where the sacral ends. Good way to pre-identify the landmark so you can get into a routine of the analysis being proper. So let's go ahead and go through. Amber's analysis, remember 90 degrees to the spine, starting on cervical. Now we're gonna hit the thoracic. blue button that's on the Polestar instrument and analyze the thoracic spine. Remember, you can use your index finger to palpate the landmarks. If you have a patient that has a mild scoliosis, you might have to change the angle of the tips as you're scanning to uh, accommodate the deviations on the person's spine. Off to lumbar, and then sacral. Sacral. S120. All righty, now what do we do in a case like this? If we look at this on Amber's case, we don't see any red fixations bars. Why? Amber's a maintenance patient. So what happened between last visit and this visit? Something magical. Her adjustments actually stayed. So what can we do for a patient clinically who comes in in this category? Well, if you look closely, we do see some yellow bars right through here, some muscle tension. You can palpate as well and feel that. So what we're gonna do is switch to the single tip and let's do some trigger point work on the patient. Now Amber is little, so on little what we can do is switch to 10 pounds of pressure. T12. And we're gonna identify if there's any localized trigger points. And there is one right through here and right through here as well. I'm gonna feel the thoracics. Eh, these all feel pretty good. There is one right here in the rhomboid area as well. So let's start off by just clearing out that thoracic vertebrae it is showing up that there is some fixation in that area. That's the only one that was picked by the pole star. And good. Now we're going to go ahead and go into point mode. In point mode, 15. Remember, 15. That's where the instrument scans all the way up to 90 times a second while it's causing 10. the trigger points to dissipate. Take your hand, palpate where those trigger points are, apply the light pressure, five to 10 on the pounds of pressure should be enough for someone amber size. There were three trigger points that I wanted to stimulate. Remember not to hold the tip of the instrument while you're doing this protocol. If you want to get a little fancy, what you can do is this. Go ahead and sit back. We can do a level two protocol on this area as well. This is where we're stimulating motion. So what I'm going to do is have the patient sit up nice and tall. If you're using the standing unit, go ahead and have them stand straight. Amber, go ahead and turn your head as far as you can to the right. Straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. I want you to turn all the way to the right. There you go. Look all over your shoulder. Turn as far as you can go. Keep going further and further. There you go, as far as you can go. Straight ahead. Now we're gonna go all the way to the left. Look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Now turn all the way to the left. Keep going as far as you can go. Keep going. You'll notice that patients will stop turning at a certain level until you coach them to go further. Now go ahead and rest your head right back in. That was a level two protocol. What we're gonna do now is reanalyze Cervical. And see what changed. Thoracic. 
we're looking for in this case is a nice clean scan to accommodate the trigger point activity that we just stimulated. Lumbar. Good. Okay, let's go back to the scan. And you can see now in this case with Amber, we didn't even have any red fixation bars. This was her last visit, but today, pre-scan showed up some tension in the muscles. Post-scan, all cleared out. 4% local change, 3% decrease in stiffness, all phenomenal result. And look, no red, no yellow. That's what we want to see on a post-scan. Thank you, folks, for your time and attention. Remember, level two protocols are the ones involved with motion. They work phenomenally well for patients who have some tension in the muscles. Have a great day.